you run, as far as I can tell, the biggest YouTube channel on ML research. Um, how do you keep up personally with that huge volume? Yeah, it's 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 gotten harder. So there was a time at the beginning of my PhD, 2016 or so, where I, not even for YouTube, before I started YouTube, just I I at least looked at every single paper on archive. So in the morning, I, just, I had a script that downloaded all the like ML, so stat ML and all the CS or the ones I was interested in, but there were a lot like the, the lists on archive, the new publications. And then I just flicked through them because uh, I had like an hour train ride. So I just flicked through them for 45 minutes and occasionally read one that I found interesting. So that was possible at the time. I don't think that's even possible anymore to, to do that, or you really have to be dedicated. And luckily there are people who are dedicated. Um, so I think the way most people keep up nowadays is to do a bit of your own scouring, right, on new archive releases, um, plus to have a network of social media slash blogs slash lists slash uh, automated things that just kind of deliver deliver a stream where you can sort of guesstimate. But there's absolutely research nowadays that most people miss just because it didn't manage to grab the attention of enough people that would be very valuable, but that's just no one cares about because no one else cared about it. <laughs> and I also, I mean, I have the additional luck that people also um, post on our Discord, people people post interesting papers and, and sort of talk about them. And there are almost daily paper discussions going on and things like this. So I have a by now a really good support network, I would say, helping me in all of this, making sense of the space. Um, yeah, that's super helpful. Nice. Yeah, uh, that makes a lot of sense. Do you have any particular resources, uh, publicly available resources that you recommend, like these kinds of um, blogs or communities that any of our listeners could subscribe to or be a part of? Yeah, it's tricky. I, I would say I would say the best thing to do is find your own personalized mix, because also what you know, if we all start doing and following the same thing, um, it becomes, we just increase our blind spots. So I think if, if everyone does their own personalized mix of sources, the likelihood that all research somewhere is covered and can be amplified mm -hmm. is better. Now, obviously everyone should subscribe to the two of us. Uh, that's out <laughs> of question. But other than that, do your own personalized mix. Nice. Um, yeah, great answer. Thank you for the plug. <laughs> um, we didn't pay him to say that. Um, Yet. <laughs> oh, yeah. 